Hi sisters, I'm James Charles. Months after his very public feud with Tati Westbrook, James Charles is opening up about lessons learned. In an interview with Paper Magazine, the makeup maven reflects on the past six months of his life and career. So when everything kind of went down, it was a really horrifying moment. Back in May, Tati Westbrook, once a close friend and mentor to Charles, accused him of betraying her by promoting one of her competitor brands on his social media. She also accused him of trying to coerce a straight man into hooking up with him. I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want to be associated with you. She posted a video on her YouTube page denouncing Charles and cutting all ties with him. His YouTube subscriber count plummeted, dropping by 3 million. Literally losing millions and millions of subscribers and losing a lot of other friends that I once thought I was so close to in the community um, within literally minutes over false accusations really showed me who the true people in my life were and how to really judge somebody um, and their character. Hi all, James here. Charles posted his own response video apologizing to Westbrook, but also refuting her claims of sexual misconduct by providing text messages between himself and the man in question, showing their interactions were consensual. Today, his YouTube subscriber count is back to where it was before the feud, but he says he is still recovering mentally. Um, and I thought by this time I'd be completely good, back to normal, if you will, super happy, and that's not the case. And I think that just goes to show, like, no matter what you have, no matter who you're surrounded with, um, like, these issues are very, very real. Paper decided to include him in its annual Break the Internet issue because of how many people were talking about the quarrel. James, Charles, and Tati, that whole scandal was one of the biggest conversations that happened on the internet. And this issue really feels like a time capsule in a way of, frankly, all the conversations that we had online in 2019. But Charles is moving forward. He's launching another makeup palette with Morphe. Jennifer, never. Never. Charles says he's grateful for the support he received while many on the internet tried to cancel him. He says he hopes people will realize that famous people aren't immune to insults and threats, and that posting mean comments could have a bigger impact than the commenter might think. People are having fun with this, and that is probably the most horrifying thing to actually say, and I really hope that it doesn't take somebody doing something dangerous to themselves, like a major public figure or a celebrity or an influencer, to show people like these words have consequences. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.